Oh look, I found a statue of Peric. So, I'm going fishing. I'm meeting my friend Alec Fire Pond Guy here in Syracuse, Nebraska, about a 45, 50 minute drive from my house. He's not gonna be here for about 20 more minutes, so I'm gonna go get food in the gas station and enjoy the time lapse. Well, I got moon pies and Snickers. Look who decided to roll into town. Guess we better go catch some hogs. <laughs> we, uh, we're full on mudding right now. Roll down the windows and get all the mud in. <laughs> All right, so we we somewhat made it. I didn't drive my truck. Alec was nice enough to drive his truck, as you can see. My truck got a wash this morning, so I got like my oil changed and stuff, and I didn't want to get it all dirty, but Alec drove his. We're getting to the pond. Wow, this stabilization is just on point right now. So we're, I don't know, Alec was asking me what we're gonna start with. I'm thinking some chatter baits, maybe some buzz baits. It's overcast, it's warm, it's calm. Pretty much prime conditions for fishing right now. Made it to the pond. Oh, it's muddy. Oh, I gotta grab a black and blue. Oh, I'm making I'm making the switch before I even start. So we just got to the pond. I looked down, saw that the visibility was negative three inches. So I'm going to a black and blue stanko to start. Oh, 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 they busting now, boys. Oh, I got one. Oh, golly. Giant. There we go. All right, we found them. That's our YouTube video. We can go home now, guys. What am I going to throw to catch the big one here? I might go to the, I might try the chatterbait. We'll give it her a shot. I got a black and blue one on. Oh, God. Is that big one? Yeah, that ain't bad. Is that on black and blue jig? Yep. Yeah, I'm going to go to that chatterbait. So that's three fish. We each got one. In four minutes. In four minutes. Pretty tough day of fishing. We're moving spots. We uh, we've I think we've caught three three dink. Oh jeez, that's wet. Nice soaking wet foot. That's always nice. Got like three dinks so far. Move into this corner with a little bit more moss. I'm gonna try a frog and a sink or the two poles I'm bringing. I think uh, Alex throwing a little rivet. We'll see. We'll see if they want some top water action. All right, I'm making a move. I'm going big. I'm going big, folks. I'm not messing around, I'm going straight to the juice. If you guys, I don't know if you guys recognize this pond or not, this is the one where I was fishing when the tornado came. I'll put the, the little card to swipe, swipe over, but that's where I'm fishing. Oh, I'm looking the other way. The one just blew up on my frog just sitting there. I don't know how else to catch these fish. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right. I set the hook and it came out of the water about four feet. Still not the size we need. See a bub. You got one? Uh oh. Oh, I'm coming. It's a big tail. Yeah, it is. A little chunker, chunker. Drop the poles. We found them. Water's looking a little blue. So, of course, got to go with the old faithful. Alex over here crushing it on a chatterbait. I'm gonna see if they'll eat the crankbait. Yeah, weeds. There's some weeds growing out there then. Yeah. Oh, that's a money cast. That's a money cast. Do you actually have a big one? Yeah. Oh, I got one. Dude, it came off. No. Oh, I got one. Oh, dude, this might actually be a big one. This, oh, snap. We got good. We got good. Get over here, boy. Oh, baby. There's a chunk. There's a chunker. Shout out to Alec for dialing the fish in. It's actually not as big as I thought, but you know, I'll take it. It's probably two, two and a quarter, maybe. That's what we're doing. I'll give you guys some tips so you can go catch some fish. So we're throwing. Black and blue chatterbaits, which is kind of what I, I think I started the, the night out with and didn't catch any. But these fish are schooling 
And this is not the first instance I found schooling fish, even on like ponds or lakes. Like Macy lives on a lake and I was out there the other night and there were giant schools um, of bait fish and bass busting on them. So pretty much, I don't know, no matter where you live, there's probably schooling fish, whether they're schooling on bluegill or crappie or shad, it just depends on the lake. But what you wanna do is you wanna figure out what they're schooling on and then you wanna imitate it, which we think, we think that they're schooling on like bluegill. He doesn't, uh, Alex doesn't think there's shad in here. Um, they could be doing crappie, I guess, but we think it's like bluegill or crappie. So we're throwing chatter baits which I'll show you my chatterbait here is a profile of a fish. You can see right there, it's got a little boot tail swim bait on it. And I mean, if it was the water was clear, we'd probably be throwing like a green pumpkin or maybe even a white, but it's dirty. And anytime you're fishing in dirty water, you usually want to stick to dark colors because it creates a better silhouette. Where is that? Like right, right. right here. All right, this is where the school's at. We got them dialed. Oh. Nope. I saw all the bait fish flicker though. Yep. Is that a? Yep. Yeah, it is. Oh my gosh, yes it is. Oh dude, yeah, yeah. Oh, we got Miss Piggy. This rod is just so. Ooh. Oh dude, this. Oh, it's a good one. I thought it was giant. Here we go. Look at the mouth. That's a good one. That is a good one. A little two and a halfer. Yeah, maybe two and a quarter. Two and a half might be a little a little much, but we, we're like freaking out when we're reeling these fish in. It, I don't know why, but they fight so hard here that it... You got one? Look at this. Oh, we got doubles. Okay, we got doubles. But we, we're freaking out. We're catching them. They fight so hard here. And it's like the mouths on them are, are pretty good sized. Look at that. We got doubles. Yeah, so yeah, we're freaking out. I, I mean, I'm using kind of like a little flimsy rod, which actually it's like the best chatterbait rod I've ever used. But we're freaking out because we keep, we keep thinking they're giants when they're not. When we actually catch one, we'll probably pee our pants, but we're, uh, we're catching some fish. All right, well, we haven't caught a fish in 10 minutes, so that's pretty bad. We're gonna put the juice on. You guys are, you guys are going down now, at least. Oh, there's one. Oh yeah. I don't think it's a very big one though. He doesn't feel very big. Nope. He's a little guy. He hit like a freaking freight train though. Going back in the water. We've caught a bunch of fish on the uh, chatterbait. Well, that's getting kind of boring. Uh, not catching fish, but you guys probably watching like cool flare. You can chuck a chatterbait out there into a school of shad or crappie and catch fish. So can anybody, but we're moving, we're gonna go frogging, and I've got a Senko in case they, they short strike the frog, but going frogging, because uh, frogging's a little bit more interesting than chatterbait fishing, and we'll see if uh, they want some top water as the sun starts to go down. Tip uh, tip number seven for the day, wear shorts and knee, knee high grass. It's always, uh, always key. <gasps> oh my God, dude. That was a toad. He completely came out of the water. Get him, get him. Oh, 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 your hand slipped off it. I saw it, that happens to me all the time. Oh man, that was a big one. He had a big old girl eat his frog and his hand slipped off the handles. Dude, I do that all the freaking time. Throw it, throw there. All right, all right. You know it's back there. Big mama. Where's big mama? Oh baby, <laughs> Dip their time's the charm, bro. Oh smokes, it's not very big, but I'll take it on the frog. Oh snap, we got him, boy. Don't even worry, we got him. We hit him with that uh, the one, two, three punch because he hit him twice. I hit him the third time. Knockout. He didn't stand a chance. Biggest one of the day on the frog. I think that's a fish. I th oh yeah, it's oh, it's for sure a fish. Oh, oh good lord. 
Oh, baby. We got one. We got one. That wind's picking up, and we got us a fish now. I don't know how big she is. Oh, she's a good one. Oh, she's a beaut. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, this might be the biggest one so far. Oh, definitely. Come here, baby doll. Oh, for sure, dude. Look at that one. That's the one we're looking for. Big old girl. She's easily three. Nice little girl there. Going to get the release. Definitely three pounds. Uh, they're still chasing those uh, chatterbaits, I guess. Good fish. See you, Samantha. Oh, there's one. Oh, that might be a big one. Uh-oh. Oh, gosh. She hit right up against the shore. She hit it and came right towards me. Oh, baby, that's a big one. Oh, smokes. Well, you guys just missed it. I uh, This camera died. Look at that. Top of the mouth choked that New Tech Crazy Jig. Heck, yeah. Another gorgeous, gorgeous fish here. Probably about two and a half to two and three quarters. Another good chatterbait fish. Still munching the chatterbait. Having fun catching catching little chunkers like this dude. See you later, Frankie. Well, folks, it is 7, 12 p.m. It looks light to you guys because I'm facing the sun, but it's actually like pretty dark and it's getting cold. We caught probably close to 40 fish total between me and the other two guys that I was with. I probably caught 15. I don't know how many of those I'm actually gonna show you guys. Some of those were really small. Some of them were two and a half to three pound fish. Caught them on chatterbaits and chatterbaits and a frog and chatterbaits and chatterbaits and chatterbaits. So, hopefully you guys learned something about chatterbait fishing. I know I talk about chatterbaits like almost every video it seems like, uh, but hopefully you guys learned something in this one. If you're new to chatterbait fishing, you, you don't really know how to fish them. Hopefully I kind of taught them. I mean, you really just kind of chuck and wine is really all you do with them. There's not really a rhyme or reason. The, the bigger part of chatterbait fishing is the colors, is the color selection. If you're fishing muddy water, you want to go black and blue. If you're fishing like a stained water or clear water and there's bluegill, you want to go to a green pumpkin. Or if you're fishing like clear to stained water and there's shad or a lot a big or a large crappie population, you want to go to like a white or white and chartreuse. And for the trailers, I usually just go with like a swim bait. Um, you can do like a like a chunk or like a craw trailer as well. It really just depends on what you want to do. As far as the rod reel line, I'm not going to go over that because uh, it's really just too dark for you guys to see it. So I'll make sure to drop all the links down below as far as what rod I was using, what reel I was using, uh, the gear ratio, the line, all that good stuff in case you guys want to go out and get an ideal chatterbait setup. I, I'm telling you for some reason that rod, I lost one fish uh, today and that was the first chatterbait fish that I've lost since I have started using that rod for my chatterbaits. It's uh, hands down by far the best chatterbait rod or spinnerbait rod that I've that I've really found so far, and it's not expensive at all. It's actually fairly cheap. So that's all I've really got for you. Again, leave a thumbs up if you liked it. Hopefully this is this shaking. But if you guys really care about like changing it up, mixing up the lures and stuff, let me down in the comment section. I'll make sure to like stop using chatterbaits for a video or so, or frogs and all that type of fun stuff. But had a good time out on the water. Unfortunately. Fishing is coming to an end here in Nebraska. I mean, I'm going duck hunting twice this week, and I don't know how many more times I'm going to be able to go fishing. Hopefully going to be able to continue to do the three three videos a week upload schedule, but I'm not really sure. But I appreciate you guys' support and, uh, and watching all my videos. If you want to just comment, maybe a suggestion on where you want me to go fishing next, where you want me to travel to, maybe I should go fishing with the Guggen Squad. You guys just let me know. I do. I read every single comment, believe it or not. I don't reply to most of them. I don't have that time. Ain't nobody got time for that, but I do re I do read them. Alec, you want to be in this outro? Shout out to uh, Alec for taking me to an actual fire pond. Fire pond. This was a fire pond. And he said, he didn't actually didn't say it was a fire pond, and it ended up being a fire pond. So we just can't say that's a fire pond, and it will be a fire pond, right? That's how it works. All right, take notes, guys. Don't, don't say it's a fire pond until you know it's a fire pond. Peace. Yeah, you got one. What? Oh. Oh, we got to get this on camera. Oh, I was just about to do the outro, but Ethan got another fish. There you go. Got a little chunky chunky on that chatterbait. That makes uh, number about 46, maybe? About that. Nice. All right, all right, all right, peace.